Hey everyone. So in this unit, we're talking about our different kinds of t-tests. We have walked through what those are and when to use which, and now I'm going to show you how to do this in PSPP or SPSS, because realistically, if you work with data, that's how you're going to be doing this. So let's return to our example from a couple of units ago where we were using this stress test score. And we know that down the road, we're going to want to compare this with people's majors. Um, we're going to continue to elaborate on this example quite a bit in, in this particular unit. But let's start with this simple data set where the only information I have are the scores and the majors. Let's say that these were a group of students who went to a stress reduction seminar and I pulled them afterwards and I had them all take this stress test score and I know what their majors are. Now, let's say that in the past, that Drury has had every student take this stress test in one of their classes. It gets randomly assigned each semester. So let's say, just for the purpose of this example, that I know that the mean score on this stress test that I'm interested in looking at for the Drury population is 57. Let's pretend that that's the case for this example. So. I know that I would do a one sample t-test, right? Because I'm going to have the mean of scores for my sample, and I know the mean of the population, but I don't know its variance and its standard deviation, which is a pretty common scenario if you do somehow know the mean of your population. So let's come up here to analyze. We're going to go down to compare means because that's what we're doing with a t-test, right? We want to know if the mean of my group is different than the mean of another group. And we're going to work through how to do all of these, but we're going to start with this one sample t-test because that was what was discussed first in the book. So you click on one sample t-test. Now, my test variable is my score. Let me back this out. All right, so when you first open the window, it would look like this. And I need to tell the software what I want you to analyze is score. This is my test variable. Now, the way that PSPP SPSS labels this is test value. So I am going to tell it I know that my population mean is 57. That's all I need. I can come over here to options and I can talk about confidence intervals. I can tell it if there's any cases I want to exclude. That's a topic for a more advanced class. But so I want to analyze my scores that I've gotten from my sample in comparison to a population test value of 57. I click OK. And what I see here in my output, my N was 83. I had 83 cases, right? And my degrees of freedom is one different then my N, just like the textbook said it should be. The mean of my group is 55.72 with a standard deviation of 25.81 and a standard error of the mean of 2.83. So what I can do is I can come down here to my one sample t-test and it's verifying the test value I'm comparing it with is 57. I can see my t-value is negative 0.45 with 82 degrees of freedom. Again, one minus the N. My significance is, is just flat out not there, right? 0. 0.653. I'm nowhere close to, to, to statistical significance. So in this example, I would have to say, okay, my, my stress reduction seminar didn't do squat, right? There is absolutely no statistical significance. Now, remember, like what we talked about in prior units, maybe I need to do more with my power. Maybe I need a bigger sample size. You know, there's a lot of different places I could go from here. But I know looking at the data right now, I do not have any statistically significant difference between the score that I got and the score of the whole population of jury students in the context of this example. Now, in the next next example, we're going to shift what this means a little bit because I want to show you a couple different things with this. But this has been a one sample t-test in SPSS PSPP part one.